Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Will Patterson and if you remember my last video all about drawing out this piece of artwork here called Stained with a brush pen and then refining it, well you'll remember that I was going to do a video tutorial showing you how I'm going to vectorize this. So we're going to be using the pen tool today to actually vectorize this and I'm using a tablet right now, a graphics tablet to do this to make it a bit easier. Uh, but I'm going to be showing you my little strategy of doing this. But beforehand, I'm going to explain to you that I've got a course coming out about the pen tool at the same time as well. So click the link in the description to be notified when that course is available and it's going to be good. Anyway, so what I've just done there is I've created two guides and I'm on a different layer here. So I basically put up my artwork uh, on this layer here, that you can see, and then I've made a new layer on top and I changed the opacity of the artwork. And I created these two guides because what I want to do is with these guides, I want to create basically a box around my artwork. Now you can see here, if I was to create a box that came around the artwork, uh, this line here is the edge of where the S is down here. This line is the edge of this part here. The line that I created up here is the top of the S. And basically what we're doing is we're finding out the extreme points or the extrema of the curves. And this is where we're gonna place our anchor points. And I'm gonna show you a few little tips and tricks. So I'm gonna get my pen tool out, make sure it's black, make sure it is a nice stroke there without a fill as you can see. And then I'm gonna change the stroke value to 0.25. What that's going to do is it's going to give me a really thin line. Now when using the pen tool, you want to make sure you can go horizontal. And we did this by actually holding shift. So we go horizontal or vertical with the handles. So basically, I know I'm going to map out my point here because this is exactly where the guide is touching. And I'm going to go horizontal the same way the guide's going. And then I'm going to travel down here. And you can see at this part of the S where this guide hits, I'm going to do a vertical one like so. As you can see, it's created this nice looking curve here. Now the pen tool is all about creating smooth curves. And we do this by using it in the horizontal and vertical basis. So I'm gonna use my direct selection tool and I'm gonna come up like so and bring this handle up, holding shift, bring this one back down a bit. And I'm gonna make sure that this line follows. You can see it's a very, very small thin line, but I'm in outline view here and you can see how this works. We've got a horizontal line and a vertical line creating this curve. And we can move the handles independently of each other to make it look exactly how it should be. I'm gonna zoom in just here so you can see. And then just here, I'm going to bring out the horizontal curve back. And I've got this line here, which is the vertical line. I'm gonna bring that down like so. I'm gonna hold command and then click away so I can work on a new part of this. I'm gonna bring this horizontal vertical line even down. And as you can see, I've missed off an extreme point here. So right here is going to be an extreme point because it bridges the gap, this line that I just brought down here. So just bring that here. And there's obviously another one of these as well. So every time that you can fit a line on it and it will touch the surface perfectly, that's where you want to bring it. It takes a bit of practice, but it's basically just like any other shape in Illustrator. So I'm bringing a line here and this is a great way of working out where a line should be and which way your handle should go, as you can see here. And then we can change this, make sure it's exactly the way it should be. And I also know for the inner line, I've got to put a line here, go to my pen tool. And we repeat this process all the way around. And there's no real way uh, to not repeat it. It's quite a simple process. Uh, but it could take a bit of practice. So make sure you keep practicing at this because this is probably the hardest part at the start. So I've got that here, bring that like so. We do this here. Oh, we've got a line now already, so we'll just follow that one. And we can actually use a direct selection tool to ma manipulate these handles as we go. And we basically just follow this all the way around to complete the shape. So as you can see, there's no handles or anchor points just randomly spread across this letter. It's actually all made with forward planning and with the system, which is why it's important to keep this hand lettered piece looking good. And it's important to keep the system rolling. I'm going to actually edit this part here. So we have this here like so. 
and then I'm going to bring a horizontal point here, a vertical point even, like so. I'm going to connect this, this one here. And then we're going to press Command and Semicolon, Command Y to see the work that we've done. We have missed a bit at the top, but that is okay. I'll just go ahead and fix that. And we can fix that by actually creating a weird handle here. But sometimes it is important to create these weird handles or these handles that are not vertical or horizontal to make sure that it works correctly because you can't do it all the time. And then from here, I go horizontal, vertical. I keep getting mixed up between vertical and horizontal. And then we do the same here. The same here. Just put there. Same here. And we can actually follow this round if we wanted to. To a horizontal line if we really wanted to. So I'm going to bring this down a bit more. I'm going to fake that line just there. And what I'm actually going to do is get rid of this one because I actually want to complete this. So we've got the actual S right there and we can have a look at it and we can edit it based on the outlines by only just adjusting the horizontal and vertical lines. So there's no more painful staking ways of actually editing this. So I'm going to go through the whole thing, but just keep in mind that these guides are going to help you massively work out all your points. You can get rid of your guides by going to view guides and then clear them and then starting again on the next one. So guys, hope you enjoy this little time lapse that I'm going to do. Have fun with it. And I would love to see what you create in the comments below. Okay, so here is the actual final of the logo design. It's all styled out in a nice stroke right there, just so you can see what it's like afterwards. You can add gradients to it and stuff like that and change it, uh, change it up and stuff. And that's basically what I've done. But if you want to learn more about this, then click the link in the description below to sign up for this course that I'm doing over at Udemy. And it's going to be good fun. You'll be able to learn all this and everything I did when it was sped up. But there is other videos on my channel that you can view to work it out. But thank you so much for watching, guys. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and press that red subscribe button and be notified of all the content that I bring out during the week. Have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video. See you soon.